Two days ago, I posted this video on the Instagram and the response is fabulous. I received so many comments on this video and everyone want the tutorial of this logo animation. So I decided to create a logo design from the scratch into Illustrator and then animate it into the Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, we start from the Illustrator to create a completely new logo which is similar to the Drip logo. Give the name of this project and the width and height should be 1920 by 1080 pixel in my case and just create. So we just created a new canvas. Now I'm creating a text. So just select text tool, click anywhere into the canvas and write anything. Then I'm scaling up this text and align it to the center. And for font, I'm choosing a Gotham bold. You can choose whatever you want to do, but I am going to choose Gotham Bolt. Align it again to the center. Okay, so we just created a text. After that, just select the text and right click. Then create outline. It will convert your text to the shapes. You can see here. After this, just select the text and ungroup it. We have a different shapes. After that, select layer 1. Click this button and go to this option and release to layer sequences. Now we have a different layers and each layers have a single letter. We can delete this layer one because we don't need it anymore. All right, so after that we have to draw or create a square shapes. First of all, create new layer. We can rewrite it. After that, select rectangle tool and zoom it a little bit and you can create rectangle or square shapes make sure when you create a shape just hold shift and drag to create a perfect square just zoom out a little bit and check how it looks like you can delete some of the boxes. Now you can just go to the box shape and open this. So you can see here are our different box shapes. So just select box layer, click this icon, go to the options and choose release to layer sequences to separate them. Then select all the layers and drag out and delete the box layer we completed our process just select all thing hold shift and alt and click and drag to increase the size of this design just simply save this file go to file save as choose destination folder here you can save this file make sure the create pdf compatible file option is checked and click ok that's it we completed our first part and we created a logo into the after effects and later on i will tell you how you can change this design into the after effects let's dive in into adobe after effects and let's create a new composition by clicking new composition box first thing first give the name of this composition like main com i'm choosing 4k resolution for this composition you can choose whatever you like second thing i set the frame rate at 60 fps and duration should be 5 seconds click ok after created the composition let's import the illustrator file which i created before to import the file double click into this box and go to the destination folder where the file is saved then select illustrator file and make sure you import as a composition written layer sizes then hit import button you can see after effects by default created a composition for our illustrator layers simply double click on this composition to open it here is our illustrator layers before doing anything we have to convert this illustrator layer into shape layers to converting select all layers by keyboard shortcut ctrl plus a to select all layers together 
then right click on the mouse go to create then choose create shape from vector layer after that you can delete the illustrator layers simply select one of the illustrator layer then choose label group option then simply press backspace on the keyboard to delete it all right we are going step by step so the next thing i am going to do is rename the layers one by one and change the color of layers of letters then solo them that way we can focus only one letter let's start animation process so first we use l letter to reveal the other letters to animate this shape make sure your time indicator should be at first frame then go to the search bar and type path to reveal the path properties of this particular layer then simply click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe then move time indicator at 30 frames and create one more keyframe here then get back to the first keyframe and zoom in a little bit then select layer press G on the keyboard to select pen tool you can see the paths of the shape we have to change it something like this now we got a shape like a single stroke line you can see how we animate this L shape for now we just drag this keyframe away and later on we will animate it before start the animation make sure the anchor point of this shape it should be at a center of the shape so to get the anchor point at the center just select shape and hold control on the keyboard and double click on the pen behind tool to center the anchor point now we can animate the position of this shape Simply press P on the keyboard to reveal the position properties and make a keyframe. Make sure the time indicator should be at the first frame. Then create some more keyframes at 30, 60 and at 70 frame. We created 4 keyframes into this shape. I quickly change the color of the shape to recognize this better. Alright. Go to the first frame and move the shape something like this. Then go to the second keyframe and move it like this and so on. After that let me turn off the transparency so you can see the handles which is not good at this case. So we have to remove it to avoid unnecessary moments. So the solution of this problem is select convert vertex tool. Go to here. Here you can see the tool just select it and click on the joints to remove these handles that's it it's time to check the RAM preview select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them go to the graph editor to see the speed graph of these movements I should change the color of letters to see it on the black background. Also I feel that the animation is too fast so I just slow down it. Just simply select all the keyframes and hold alt on the keyboard. Select last keyframe and drag it like this. That way we can slow down the overall animation. Now it's time to change the graph. Go to the graph editor and change the speed graph something like this. Then press S on the keyboard to reveal the scale properties of this shape and make sure you unlink this scale value. After creating first keyframe press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes of this shape. Then move the time indicator to the last keyframe and create one more keyframe over here. Let's change the X value of the scale 100 to 450% and Y value should be 50%. Then move forward at second keyframe and change the scale value of X to 100% and 110 for Y value. Check the RAM preview. Select all the keyframe and easy them. You can see the graph of the scale value. 
After that, go to the fourth keyframe and create a new shape layer like this. Make sure it should be cover all the letters except L. Then simply rename the shape layer to reveal. And link this layer to L shape layer so it will follow the L. Then trim the reveal layer at this point. It's time to animate the rest of the letters. Simply select all the layers, then press P on the keyboard to reveal position properties and make a keyframe, then go further and create another keyframe. Then move the time indicator back to the first keyframe and change the position of letters like this. Then select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor and change the graph something like this. After that, rearrange the layers like this. Then pre-comp it and give the name of this composition to letters. Then click and drag the reveal layer above the pre-comp letter layer and change the mat on to alpha mat. You can see the previews how it's look. It's time to apply effects on the L shape layer. Go to the effects panel. Under the animation presets you can find this card wipe 3D pixel storm effect. Just drag and drop to L shape layer and make sure your time indicator should be at the first frame. You can see the effects is not looking good now, so we have to change some settings to achieve our desired look. Go to the effects panel and check this box. After that, change the rows and column 20 to 50. Then check the ramp preview. Alright, looks better than before. Press U to reveal the keyframes of this shape and easy ease those keyframes. Also go to the graph editor and change the speed graph like this. That's good for me. After that I am going to animate the square shapes. Just select all the square shapes and press P to reveal the position properties then create keyframes at the first frame. Then move the time indicator to one second and create another keyframe here. Go back to the first frame and change the position of shapes like this. After that select only second keyframes of each layer and easy is them. Then go to the graph editor and change the speed graph like this. And check the ramp preview. Then make them pre-comp and give the name of this composition to later particles. Then drag this pre-comp layer to this point. After that go to effects panel and type set mat. Simply drag and drop onto this layer. And in this effect panel choose letters. Nice. Check how it's look. Okay sorry for that we have to copy this effect here and delete it. Then paste into letters composition layer and select letter particles into the effect panel and check the invert mat box and don't forget to turn off the letter particles layer check the ramp preview now i can change the color of l shape layer let's check the ramp preview that's good Alright, so we are moving into the final part of this tutorial. Just duplicate this pre-comp layer and rearrange it something like this. And animate the position like this. This process is totally uh, a custom thing. That's why I speed up the video. After that, add a set matte effect on it and change the none setting to reveal layer.
then create a mask on it go to the layer settings and add a keyframe on the mask path and animate it like this after that increase the feather of the mask and when you satisfy with the results just add fill effects to change the composition color let's see the RAM preview that's very nice let's finish this animation quickly by getting back the L shape keyframes adjust it and try to match the movement when you satisfy then easy them so here is our final results hope you enjoy this tutorial and learn something new today i just wanna share my website with you to explore it if you interested of my motion graphics services so you can check out my website just simply go to the google and type my name which is sex so hell so you will see my website and my other social media handles so you can check out my previous works and my clients as well as my expertise. So again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.